guys, welcome back to another installment of my Stash and Scraps Saturdays. And this is the fifth video, so we are halfway through it. And I've been thinking about what I want to do next, because I told you guys previously that after this um, series I would do something else. So if you guys have any comments or any suggestions, I would love to hear it. And Please comment down below and let me know what you guys think. So today I am doing a process video. I'm kind of starting from scratch. I really don't know what exactly I'm going to do. I kind of just started and then it kind of just developed. So I chose this picture of my cutie little baby boy. <laughs> um, he was about like six months, I would say. And he was playing with his feet, and I think, like, becoming a mom was really exciting, but, like, you know, as a scrapbooker, you know what kind of pictures you want to capture, and this is one of them. <laughs> Unfortunately, though, it is not a good quality photo, so in the end, I feel like maybe it should have been black and white. That would have worked a little better, um, because it's kind of dark, it's kind of grainy. And it, it, it really actually kind of doles out what I've created in the end. So I'm, you know, even though I did finish this layout and I worked it out, I do plan on uh, probably going back, edit, re-editing the photo, and then just replacing it with a better edited photo because it's very dull. Like, I just do not like it. But anyways, that... Uh, it will not stop me today. <laughs> I still continue with the layout and I'm using some papers from my stash that I've had from Studio Calico for quite some time. And I am also sort of scrap lifting the idea from a layout that I saw online and I do not know where I got the idea from but I just remember seeing kind of like a little um, paper strips uh, pennant banner up at the top. Um, just haphazardly placed. So I'm going to be using scraps of paper um, up top for the pennant banner and then also for the layering down on my photo. So uh, like I said, these sheets are all Studio Calico and they are really cute. Um, I For a while I was um, subscribed to Studio Calico. I'd say it was in 2014. Um, I, I almost was subscribed for a year, but I never really found um, myself using them. Like, I kind of just hoarded them for a long time. Back then, I was not, I didn't have a baby yet, so I was just, you know, working full time. And I never really had the time to, to do anything with these um, kits. And also, at the same time, actually, I think I was planning my wedding. So it was just a very busy time. And I really had no time to get into them. So what I decided to do with them earlier this year was to just, you know, pull them all apart, finally take them out, and then just, you know, separate all the um, items that came in them and then just, you know, use them as the time came. And I really have still yet to use them. So that's why I'm, you know, taking this series that I'm doing, Stash and Scraps, um, seriously and actually going into my stash and picking out those things that I've never really used because they're just sitting there and I really want to use them and you can obviously create a lot of gorgeous things with these kits or you know with these papers. I find that Studio Calico is very um, it's gorgeous I really do like it a lot of the designers have very unique styles but I feel like it's very eclectic it's just not exactly my scrapbooking style. So to, you know, to use papers like this, um, they're very, uh, simple and they're very gorgeous, but I'm more into the girly stuff and the flower stuff and the pink stuff, you know, not necessarily just, um, patterns. Um, so that's the reason why I found it really hard to use the kits. Um, but then at the same time at you know, around the time that I was receiving them, I really wasn't scrapbooking and I wasn't getting into my groove and figuring out how to do things. So it was just, 
you know, at least it, you know, I took advantage while I worked and I had the money <laughs> and I was able to order these kits, but, um, I'm using them now, right? So that's what matters. So I have been, you know, taking advantage. So as you can see here, I've been using a couple of sheets. I brought in a gray sheet and then I'm bringing in that yellow. So I think it was maybe like two different sheets and I was just using the front and the back of them. And then again, I'm layering the back of the photo and then I'm also taking those same sheets that I'm using and just sticking up little strips up at the top for the pennant banner. Um, I tried to use an acetate sheet, but it didn't really work. I really wanted to use something else. So instead I decided to do a little bit of painting on my sheet and you guys will see me here I'm going to be doing some what is it plastic wrap watercoloring um, I'm not sure exactly how to use it I recently uh, read a blog post on how to do this and I really like I don't know why I never decided to do it I've seen a lot of other uh, scrapbookers uh, use this technique of putting a uh, spray mist or watercolor on the plastic uh, wrapping and then just smush it onto your paper. Um, and I had never tried it, but it was so much fun bringing it out and actually trying it out. And it leaves such a gorgeous like watercolor texture on your paper. It's unique. It's definitely unique. You never get the same. And I think, I feel like the more you add, the better it gets. So... That's what I'm doing here. This is my very first time trying it out. I was a little nervous, but I just kept going with it. And then, you know, you kind of just start forming your little area of um, where you want to spread it out. And you can just continue spreading it and spreading it. So I think what I'm going to do here is start gluing all this stuff first. And I'm just using my Prima Marketing uh, Gel Glue Pen. So it's just like a glue stick but it is, the glue is like gel and it sticks really good. I really like it. I got this in my Felicity Jane unboxing. I'm sorry, in my Felicity Jane paper exchange and you guys can see that in my Felicity Jane unboxing video, the first one. And I kind of didn't want to start using it because, you know, you can use a glue so fast in scrapbooking, but I couldn't find anything else. Um, so I decided to do this. I really don't like using wet glue because it takes forever and it kind of also like kind of warps the paper and I don't like that. So I just used the, the pen and it worked beautifully. So now I think I'm going to come back with more blue and I'm using sort of the baby blues. Um, I'm using darker and lighter colors and just going in there and doing it. And it looks great. I really do like it. So I'm just seeing where my photo is going to fit there and just keep doing it. Have you guys ever tried this? Let me know in the comments below. Also, um, if you guys have been enjoying these scrap stash and scrap Saturdays, uh, let me know. I really would love to hear from you guys, your feedback, any comments, anything you guys want to see. Um, we still have five more videos coming, so I still have not filmed any more after this one. At this point of when I'm doing the voiceover but I will be getting into that this week so if you guys have any suggestions on you know what from my stash you guys want me to uh, bring out and use let me know and I would totally take that into consideration and and do it for you guys so I decided that I love the blue but I wanted to bring another you know interest to it so I decided to grab a doily and I should be bringing in that bringing that in very soon okay so I just okay <laughs> I don't exactly remember what I was doing guys but I'm just letting you guys know <laughs> so I'm bringing out the what is it little you collection by crepe paper and these are the uh, chipboard stickers and they are the boy one I'm sorry the boy uh, stickers. Do you guys see the watercolor in the background? It's not beautiful. There's so many layers to it and it's just like endless texture. I love it. 
I thought maybe I could use some of these paint swatches that I've had in, you know, in my stash forever. But the mint just didn't go. If I would have had maybe a baby blue, that really would have worked. So there's the doily. See, I promised you guys a doily. There it is. And these are also from my Felicity uh, Jane paper exchange um, for the second video. Because I had two exchanges this year. And it was so fun. Like, I'm still using everything that they sent me. That the girls that I had sent me, they were amazing. So I realized that um, this uh, chipboard sheet had a lot of tags. So I thought that would be just perfect for adding to the pennant and just giving it a, you know, a little bit of interest. And they kind of also make it co cohesive. So I, I'm showing you guys that little arrow as a close-up because it's beautiful. I super love it. It's gold glitter and it's got a heart in the back. Super cute. So I wanted to show, show you guys close up. So now I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Oh yes, I'm bringing out the alphas because I want to um, title, I want to add the title, but I wasn't exactly sure. I really like those super colorful ones. I think those are the pink paisley ones. Um, and then I did put the title up and it will be on here. But then I decided that it just was way too much, especially for a boy layout. I just left them there for now, but, um, you know, I slept on it and then I came back to the layout the next day because I, you guys will see that I add some stitching. So then I ended up switching out the title with some, just some more simple gray letters and that just went more perfect. But meanwhile, I'm just going to add these and then I'm just going to call it footsies. I think I was trying to title it Playing Footsies, but it was just a really big title. And like I said, these alphas just were not working um, because they had so much color to it. And, to it. and although I thought that would be just perfect for this layout because of the colors, because they do match really good with what I'm using, I thought they really would work, but in the end, it was just way too busy. And you guys can see that. Like, I'm sure you guys can see how busy it is. So I'm trying to title it Playing Footsies. And it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I'm just not one to add huge titles like this. Like, I like my photo to be the center of attention. And that's it. Um, you know, the title will be there. But to me, the the photo is what should be the center of attention in a layout like that's how I feel it works best for me um, because you know that's what we're doing you know I'm creating a beautiful layout for the photo to showcase the photo so the title just completely did not go and I'm sure you guys can see that so I took off the word playing and left the footsies and I'm just gonna work around that title um, and then, yeah, so that's it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to be taking it off. I know there's kind of like a lot of dead space or space for me to be talking. Yeah. Okay, so now we got the footsies just sitting there. And then I'm going to come back with the chipboard sheet and then just start going crazy and decorating. Um, I thought there would be no other better opportunity to use this rocking horse than right now. <laughs> okay, so I kind of did cut off a little bit of the video, uh, but for some reason I'm still working with the horse. That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to stick the horse down there. If you can see, I added just a hello card from the um, Little U Ephemera. Then I added a little ticket uh, down in the bottom behind the horse. And then now I'm adding this acetate sheet that says, You Have My Whole Heart. And these are all from the Little You collection uh, for the boys. So if you guys didn't know, there's a boy and a girl one. So I'm just using the boy one. And I do have the girl. I know I've mentioned this plenty of times before. I do have the girl ephemera. But lately I've just been sticking to the boy one.
And there's so many, so many gorgeous things in this ephemera packet. Like, I've used it maybe like three or four times in different layouts, and I still have so much of it left. So I want to keep using it probably until I am finished with everything. That would be actually really cool because I feel like his first uh, baby album will be kind of cohesive. You know, I can continue using a lot of the same ephemera that really would make it be a little cohesive. So just my train of thought. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is adding a little acetate star and then I'm just trying to peel off the backing. And I'm going to use that gel glue and it works perfect. And since it's gel, it's totally clear and I like it. I'm bringing in a lot of stars and you'll see a lot of stars and you'll also see a lot of arrows. I had fun with that. Oh yes, and then I'm going to add a few more pieces to the top uh, pennant banner. And like I said before, I do add stitching and then I will show you a little bit more of that in just a few minutes. I bring another chipboard sticker, which is a little safety pin. I thought that was cute. And since my horse was sitting on top of my frame, uh, which was sitting on top of my photo, I had space to squeeze in that safety pin under the rocking horse, and that just stuck there. I added another safety pin up at the top in the pennant banner, and I tried to bring in this little pinwheel, but it just, I just didn't find a place for it, especially because that title was so big. I think maybe if the title wasn't there, I probably would have stuck down that, uh, those pinwheels. And those pinwheels are, have just been sitting in my stash for years, guys, like years. I don't know how I ended up with baby stuff, but probably back when, <laughs> back when I was, um, you know, just shopping, shopping for anything scrappy, I probably picked those up. <clears throat> okay, so I thought it was finished, so I went ahead and drew some uh, borders, you know, some simple borders around the page, and you guys know I love doing this. I don't know if. Um, I don't know if everyone enjoys it. I mean, the person that I got this idea from was Mercy Tiara, and I love the way she does it. And then, you know, I've seen plenty of other YouTubers do all kinds of things with it, and I like it. It really does finish off a page. A sheet that you feel like it's kind of empty, if you just add those border lines, then it really will do something for your layout. All I did there was trim off the uh, perforated edging, because I am using a sheet from a paper pad, just a white cardstock paper pad. And so I just trimmed off the edging because I don't like that perforated edge. <laughs> so I'm staring, I'm staring, I'm figuring out what I can do. And I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I decided that I wanted to do a little stitching, of course, because I have that pen and banner um, up on top. And I'm just bringing out my little box of threads, as you can see, is one hot mess. <laughs> and I'm just picking out colors. I didn't know if I wanted to do baby blue or white. Uh, in the end, I did go with white, just because I felt like uh, white thread would have a better pop of color um, up on top where I'm showing you guys right there but I do add some blue stitching in. I don't want to give it all away but I will show you guys what I did next um, so the next day so the next day I am back and I have the stitching done up at the top as you can see and it's nice and wonky <laughs> and now I want to add some stitching to the uh, area around the photo. So as you can see, I did take off the title, and like I told you guys, and then I brought in just a simple gray um, alpha, which is also Studio Calico, and then I just added more stars and more arrows, and that was it. So what I'm gonna do now is actually go in and add just random bits of white uh, thread, uh, kind of lines, um, just a few stitches, and then just add it to a few spots on my layout. 
And I decided to film this because I thought, hey, why not? I'm going to show everybody how good I am at stitching. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> that was a little cheesy. Sorry about that. So as you can see, I just um, hole punched, not hole punched, I'm sorry, pierced random places around the photo just kind of to add a little more embellishment. And then I'm just going with a long piece of string and just stitching around. And I really like how that um, gave a little extra uh, embellishment to the photo. And it also kind of like brought the whole thing together because I thought it was a little bit random for me to have a photo down at the bottom and then just like random stitching up at the top. I felt like I needed to have stitching somewhere else. Um, and so I brought it in like this. Uh, it's been, you know, I, I really do have a lot of fun doing the stitching. Sometimes I do, though, like create certain layouts for myself where I kind of overdo it and then I just it takes me forever to finish um, I've been working on another layout where I'm doing arrows and you guys will see it soon but I'm not gonna just film myself stitching everything so I want to have it ready for you guys so I can work on it so I kind of do that to myself sometimes I don't know if you guys know anything about that but sometimes I kind of do overwork myself <laughs> Like, I have great ideas in my head, and then I finally start putting down on my paper, but then it just takes forever, especially the stitching. It's the stitching that kills me. So you saw me there put the white strips, and they are super cute. And now I'm going to come in with the blue thread, and I'm going to show you guys how I pierce the paper here with my long needle that I showed you guys in my haul video. So I just like to have that string help push down it kind of helps my hand you know force the needle through the paper and I'm just adding four little piercings that will create little X's and that's really all I'm gonna do with the blue thread but like I said since I'm adding it as an embellishment it really does look really cute and it really does add more to the photo um, and then the change of color is perfect because they're you know they're just tiny little X's. So I'm coming in with a thread now and that one was all rolled up in a hot mess as you can see. <laughs> and then I'm just using a needle. Um, these needles are fairly large. I like using large needles to do my stitching. So I use, for the most part, I use the full thread that comes, you know, in the bundle. I don't usually take out any strings out of it because I do like that full effect especially because I use the big needles and it kind of just create does create a big hole and I don't really like my paper you know being seen through so I realized that after this little X I kind of brought in the the extra string and they some of them turned thicker and then some of them turned it came out skinnier because some of them had way more thread in it than I should. they should have. But it was way too late for me to pull it out because I had already done way too many of them. So the back of this paper, as you can see, is one hot, thready mess. <laughs> but it's the back of the paper. Once it's in an album, you won't be able to tell. It really doesn't even bug me all that much because it's the front that matters, right? And then also, I didn't even mention, for the pennant banner, I didn't start in the back of the paper towards the front. I actually started in the front of the paper to leave the strings stuck, uh, sticking out, actually, so that it actually looks like it's a little hanging pennant banner. So you guys should see that very soon. All I'm going to do here is adhere everything and secure it with some washi tape, and then I'm just going to do that to the ends of the thread. So you can see there on top of the pennant banner each side has hanging string. On the right hand side is where I started. On the left hand side is where I ended and I just went ahead and uh, tied a knot and, to secure it there. So now I'm coming back with some yellow splatters and I think these are my favorite splatters of all time. The yellow is just perfect. I don't have any gold um, 
splatters so I think if I had the gold then it would be getting into everything <laughs> so I'm showing you guys all a close-up uh, it's really a beautiful layout I'm showing you guys where I changed that that didn't come out in the video because I did that off camera while I was doing the stitching and then I forgot a little X off on the right hand corner so I'm just gonna bring a little extra thread and putting it in there I knew I was missing something and I just love it like I love how I decided to bring in extra stitching and you know it's not just stitching around something or stitching around the pennant it's you know, it got a little more interest interest to it because I'm using blue and you know, and I'm doing little X's, so I think it's super cute. So now I'm just gonna trim off the extra threads, get rid of that, so nothing you know pops out of the side of the layout. And that's it, guys. This is the layout finished, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for coming today, and I hope you guys enjoy the close-ups. See you next Saturday. Bye-bye.